Hello and welcome back to our channel. <laughs> she didn't like that voice. Welcome back. If this is your first time here, my name is Keegan. I'm the owner of Poopy Studios, a studio dog photography company in Vancouver. So you're probably wondering why we have a bunch of toys that Susan's very upset about that we have on the table here. And it's because today I am going to go over our favorite As you guys can see, I have a nutty, nutty, nutty dog. I have to work her brain way more than I actually exercise her. And that's partially due to some medical issues she has. But when you have a hyperactive, very intelligent dog, it's going to benefit you way more to exercise their mind instead of their body. So let's dive right into it. I actually have five different things, but first one is a chew ball that you guys if you haven't already check out our IGTV where I do a whole tutorial on how I make them. I'll show you how I make my dogs, I want to call them Kong balls but they're not actually Kong. I don't know, you guys have seen these everywhere I'm sure. They have teeth in the side, you can put things in and they have a hole in the middle. Hi! But I was dumb and before this video I made up I leave that. I'm trying to sip my coffee. Grow, 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 grow. Just chill on it. Anyways, I was dumb and I actually made up the frozen tree balls and put them in the freezer before I did this video because I knew that my dog was going to be a cuckoo. And I was planning on using one of them while I filmed. So I don't have them to show you. But I'll show you at the end of this video. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, go check out our IGTV video. I'll leave the link below and it is called how to occupy your dog for 30 plus minutes and it's true trust me I've got a crazy one and it literally occupies her for 30 sometimes plus minutes and speaking of IGTV don't forget to follow us on Instagram because I've said it before and I will say it again I photograph dogs so why wouldn't you <laughs> do you like dogs yes okay go follow us on Instagram anyways I'm going to go least favorite to favorite because I feel like that's more exciting. Okay, so least favorite, I would say is the snuffle mat. So keep in mind that I'm doing this video based on the stuff that I already own. There's tons more that I would love to buy, but money doesn't grow on trees and I already have enough. The snuffle mat, it's great. Um, I was told that sniffing foraging, I guess, like their natural hunting instincts, tires them out a lot. I mean, it's really not that tricky. Like you can see the folds, they don't go really down that deep. It's just like a plush fabric. I don't know. Susan always finished it in less than a couple of minutes. And I never wanted to put all of her food in it because then that kind of defeats the purpose of sniffing around for a couple individual treats. Leave it. Come over here. Yeah, so it only took her really like a couple minutes. I didn't really feel like it ever did much. And if I were to use it, it would probably be because pairing it with my second favorite toy, which is the puzzle. So these things come off, treats go in there, treats go in here, and treats slide or go under these slidey things. I'm sure you've seen these before. There's tons of them. This is actually a level two. Uh, it was the first and only one that I've got for her, but I would definitely, definitely buy more. They're just expensive. And I would definitely go for a level three. She finishes this in like, a minute under a minute she's memorized the whole thing she doesn't sniff for it anymore she just <laughs> runs right for it picks these out flings these off slides these bitches and she's done so she loves doing it and i think it's really good for her brain i just wish that i had something a little bit more difficult for her because i don't feel like i'm really challenging her so that's number two and number three is the IQ ball. Can you see? 
This bad boy is one of my tops because you can get it on Amazon for really cheap. I think it was like under 10 bucks or something, which is why, P.S., which is why the first two toys were my least favorites because they were hella expensive. This one was like 30. The snuffle map, I guess, was only like maybe 15 or 20, but it's literally a mat. Like, I feel like I can make it myself. Anyways, this is so cheap. You open it up like this, and then there's this white thing. Treats go in there, put this back on. You can adjust the level of difficulty for the hole. This bad boy goes on top of there. And she just fling flings it around the house everywhere. Um, yeah, it's, it's really great. It lasts her a long time. I would say probably around 30 minutes as well. And it's really good for their brain and their body because they're running around chasing it and, you know, swatting it. Right, girl? She loves this thing so much. I have to figure out how to get the treats out. So it's funny like to watch them do this because she'll bring it over her, to her bed and start sticking her tongue <laughs> in here trying to scoop out the treats, like trying to trick, tr trick the ball. Or she'll bring it to the couch and throw it off the edge and try to like break it apart so that she can get all the treats on the inside. That's usually after like the 30 minute mark because then she's like, okay, frack this, give me my treats. I'm over this game. But anyways, this is also my favorite. Con, it's so loud. It's so aggressively loud, especially when there's treats in it. And it's basically like she's swatting around a baby rattle. It's, it's aggressive, it's very aggressive. But I mean, if you're outside or you're not really, you know, doing anything that you have to be quiet for, it's the best. I recommend it to anybody. I feel like any sort of dog, puppy, any age could do it because you can change the level of difficulty. So if you want the treats to come out fast, slow, you know, you know how she goes. Toy number four, toy number four. My second favorite, second top favorite is the Bobble Lot. Na, 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 na. Okay, this is my most recent buy, although it's funny because it actually looks the roughest. It's so battered on the side and on the top, but what are you gonna do? I bought this most recently on Amazon. It was very expensive, like 40 bucks. I know you guys are probably thinking like, bro, this is not that expensive, but I am so cheap and 40 bucks is a big purchase for me like i don't even buy my clothes for 40 dollars. i thrift shop i don't really shop in any sort of stores if i'm buying anything new it's for my dogs essentially so this was a big buy for us susan loves it and if i would have done this video a couple weeks ago i probably would have had it lower on my list because i found that she really got the treats out a lot faster than she did with the IQ ball. Oh my goodness. Hi, why are you on the table? Who is this bitch thing she is? Okay, anyways, I don't even remember what I was saying. If I would have done this a couple weeks ago, I would have given it a lower rating because if you see it here, you put the treats in the top and then there's an adjustable thing there. And then the treats go down a little contra- sip, 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 sip. There's like some sort of little contraption on the inside, like, pivot it's like a, I don't know, windmill? No, I don't know. I don't know what to describe it as. But then they come out of this hole, which is also adjustable. So I use Susan's food because she doesn't need any extra treats. She getting fat and she was getting the treats out so 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 fast and I'm just like what the what is the point of this if it's not gonna last her at least 15 to 20 minutes why did I spend 40 bucks on it so I almost returned it and then I realized I was measuring them like horse fat size horizontally so that they could fit through the hole right but then I realized I could just make it trickier and measure it so that it's they can only fit out skinny side. Good girl. I know. I don't claim to be the smartest, okay? But that was a game changer because now it takes her way longer to get them out, right? Yeah, way longer. And she loves it. 
also incredibly loud. It bangs against the wall, it's quite heavy. So if you don't like loud toys, I wouldn't get it. But if you don't like loud toys, then you probably don't have a dog. <laughs> Let's be real. So this would be my second favorite and my absolute favorite toy is those stupid little chew balls that I did the IGTV on and they're just the best. Like if you have not watched that IGTV video, I highly recommend. We pack it with nutritious stuff like the IGTV video I'm talking about. The balls, I put pumpkin in the middle because Susan has stomach issues so it helps with her poops. Gross, I know. Dog mom stuff. Girl, you're nasty. I freeze mine so it's good for the summer. I like popsicle. It also popsicles are great. If you haven't watched my last YouTube video, go check it out. Me and Susan make and test out some popsicles for you guys. That's pretty much it. She's side eyeing me hard. She's pissed. She's like, why do you bring all my toys out here? There's no treats in them. This is some frick fracking BS. But anyways, I love interactive dog toys. If you have any sort of chores that you need to get done, you're working from home, hello, stuck at home for quarantine, you need some interactive dog toys. I promise you that the loud noises from the babala and the cue ball are way less annoying than your dog sitting there barking at you while you're on a conference call. Check them out. I'll leave all the Amazon links below if you guys want to, you know, buy them. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So if you like this video, you think that little girl is cute, make sure you hit that thumbs up button as well as subscribe. Make sure you hit that bell icon as well because I was told to say that at the end of my video, so I do. <laughs> and it also <coughs> makes sure that you get a notification for when I post my next video of me and baby Sue, which let's be real, you would hate to miss, right? Look at her. Look at her. Look at this girl. She's such a good little YouTube model. Oh my god. And don't forget to check us out on Instagram at Floofy Studios if you like dogs. If you don't, so weird. Until next week, guys. Peace.